Hello, this is James George with Creative Beacon, and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, vintage slash retro kind of pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Now, if you checked out the blog yesterday, then you'll know that I shared the, uh, a four pack of uh, vector ornaments uh, that are free online uh, for you guys to use. And I mentioned the ability to create your own vintage patterns with them. And so some people might be wondering, well, how would I do that easily? And so I wanted to show you guys something that is just a, a recent addition to Illustrator. I think it was in CS5, I, I believe, or 6. I'm not sure. I, I can't quite remember. But I do know that it's in one of the more recent versions of Illustrator. But uh, with these elements, you can uh, create a, a vector vintage pattern in just a few minutes. And so, if you go to the site and you download the, the vector elements, you will see uh, they are in, you've got the JPEGs and you have uh, EPS files. If you just select all those and drop them into Illustrator, then you'll have them all tiled at the top here. And so, I've got a new document open and I have the four ornament documents open as well. And so what you're going to want to do to make your own pattern, this is really easy, is just go to Object, Pattern, Make. And so it says the new pattern has been added to the swatches panel. And what that means is once you're finished with the pattern, it will be in, in the swatches panel, which is excellent because you can just reuse it and you can save your own swatches and have your own um, ornament patterns and so just click OK and what you'll want to do is go to one of these documents uh, I believe this one everything's grouped together so you're gonna want to uh, hit object ungroup uh, so that you can select these individually but the rest of them I think are in separate uh, documents and so if you go and you select uh, one of these ornaments and copy then it's real easy to go back here and paste and you can see it already starts to to preview what the pattern is going to look like now I'm going to show you something because this threw me off when I first started using this is if you move you just move the the ornament the tile moves as well this is your area where your pattern is going to be made and it took me a while to figure out you know what is going on I can't how am I supposed to make a pattern like this I want to put multiple elements into my pattern how's this work well I don't know why why this is like this but it says move tile with art uncheck that I, that's set on that's set to be active on default and I'm not exactly sure why because it's, you can't make a pattern with that set like that and so now when you move this the tile stays put and your elements can be moved and so it's really easy uh, for example if you just hit copy and then if you want to just paste it in front instead of having it just pasted uh, in the middle of your canvas, just hit Command F. And so it's pasted right over top. And then hold down Shift and rotate it and it will, it will rotate it in 45 degree increments. So it's upside down now. And while holding Shift, I hit the down arrow keys. And now I have a symmetrical pattern. And so what you can do is copy, hit, hit uh, Command C, and then hit Command F to uh, paste it in front again, then rotate it, and there's your pattern. You can see that I'm a little bit off center. And this is fun because I'm going to select the elements and push the 
right arrow key until they're lined up. And so now you have a, a diagonal uh, flourish pattern. And so you can go back to any of these design elements. Let's grab this one. And you can just create your own custom patterns. And so I'll paste that in. And of course, that's huge. And so, I'm going to select that and shrink it down. And so then you can go to another document and um, let's see, you can look for like a diagonal element. And so let's see, maybe grab this element. And so then you can hit, um, if you want it, if you want to reflect it, it's really easy. All you have to do is just select select your ornament that you want to reflect and go to Object, Arrange, or I'm sorry, Transform, Reflect. And so depending on how you want it to mirror, if you want it to flip horizontally to where it is... Uh, like a mirror image of itself beside it, you would hit this button and say copy instead of just clicking OK because if you just click OK it's just going to flip this element but if you hit copy it's going to flip it and create a copy and you can just use the arrow keys and align it to your box then click these two and this time you're going to go transform reflect you're going to flip it upside down and do copy. To where it lines up. And so you can see that you have a perfect symmetrical pattern every time. And so you can continue to add elements until it's a solid pattern if you'd like. So let's, let's look around for some of these other elements. You can position them however you want. It's really just up to taste. Up to your taste and your preference. See, I don't really think that goes with that, so I'm just going to take that out of there. Let's let's try to find something that's more along the lines of what we already have, and it will it won't look out of place. So I'm going to tilt that probably 45 degrees by holding shift. Place that right there. And then I'm just going to use the same trick as we used before. Reflect co via copy.
then select these two reflect via copy upside down and there you go there's your symmetrical pattern and if at any time you think that any of these are, are too much you can just delete them create your own customizations I mean it's infinitely um, customizable Inf in a, infinitely editable it's really easy to do and it's fun you could spend hours sitting here making your own vintage patterns with this pattern maker and so once you're done it's saved in your swatches and you can use it over and over again I'm James George and this is Creative Beacon